Twilight actor Gregory Tyree Boyce has died. He was 30. The actor's girlfriend Natalie Adepoju, 27, was also found dead in Las Vegas, Nevada, on May 13, Clark County Medical Examiner spokesperson confirmed to People. Boyce, who was best known for his role as Tyler Crowley in the first Twilight movie, and his girlfriend's cause of death is still pending, the spokesperson added. The actor leaves behind a 10-year-old daughter Alaya while Adepoju, who is originally from Los Angeles, California, is survived by her young son Egypt. His mother, Lisa Wayne, shared a tribute to her son on Facebook writing, My baby boy, Greg Boyce was the best chef, oh man. He was in the process of starting a wing business, West Wings. He created the flavors to his perfection and named them after West Coast rappers. Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Roddy Rich, The Game, etc. He had flavors like, Tequila Lime Agave, those were my favorite. A Hennessy Maple flavor, oh man, just so damn good. I can say that my son was my favorite chef. He was on to something great and that was his passion. Wayne added her son and his girlfriend had been working together on a business plan as a team, adding his dream was all in the making. My baby boy, Greg Boyce was the best chef, oh man. He was in the process of starting a wing business, West Wings. He posted by Lisa Wayne on Sunday the 17th of May 2020 I'm sick without you. I'm torn, I'm lost. I'm in pain, Wayne wrote. I'd text you or call you when I was broken or worried about something, and you'd tell me, Ma, I got you, we'll get through this together. Boy. Why did you leave me? We lived in the same complex and you were my dinner. You'd cook, I'd come eat and chill and walk back home. During quarantine, we started walking in the evenings. Me, you, Natalie, Alaya and Kania found a beautiful trail to walk on, we loved it out there. I wanted to lose weight so bad, but you just kept cooking and I cannot resist your food. Since you've left me baby, I've lost 7 pounds. She continued, with my mommy and Channing Celeste Wayne, I was able to tell them goodbye and hug them for the last time. With you, the last time I saw you on Monday, May 11, 2020, I went to your house to eat leftovers from Mother's Day, we watched a Dave Chappelle show and you walked me to my car, hugged me, kissed me on my cheek and told me that you love me and to call you when I got home. That was it. Never another hug, kiss or to hear those words, I love you again. I'm broken. I love you Greggy, my honey. Heartbreakingly in December, Boyce wrote on Instagram how he never expected to live to 30 years old. At one point I didn't think I would make it to see 30 years old. Over the years like everyone else I have made mistakes along the way, but today is one of those days I only reflect on the great ones. What a time to be alive. Happy Dirty 30 Self. Let's make the rest of these years your best, he said. A GoFundMe for Adepoju asked for a donation to aid in funeral services for the Las Vegas resident. We are writing this letter to let you know that our loving daughter, niece, sister, cousin, and friend Natalie Adepoju suddenly passed away on May 13, 2020 in Las Vegas, Nevada, the GoFundMe read. Currently, it is our wishes to not disclose the cause. We ask that you respect the family's wishes. It continued, however, due to the sudden passing and the need to bring Natalie home, we are asking if you can help with any monetary donation. Natalie had so much life to live we are saddened that her life was cut short. Natalie leaves behind her one and only baby boy Egypt, her father, two brothers and one sister, and a host of family and friends who love her dearly. Any amount would help send our baby home the proper way. 
Due to COVID-19 Adipoju's funeral arrangements will include a limited amount of people who can attend, according to an Instagram post by one of her friends.